The Ig Nobel Prizes are awarded every year to celebrate 10 unusual or trivial achievements in scientific research. This year, the award for transportation caught my eye. The research that won the award was published in a paper in March which had the title The Pulmonary and Metabolic Effects of Suspension by the Feet Compared with Lateral Recumbency in Immobilized Black Rhinoceroses Captured by Aerial Darting. Basically, is it better to transport unconscious rhinos suspended by their feet or on their sides? The researchers wanted to find out if the rhino's heart and lung function coped with flying upside down, so they suspended 12 tranquilized black rhinos by their feet from a crane for 10 minutes and measured their physical responses. They actually found that it was better for the rhinos to travel suspended upside down rather than on their side. The reason being that when the rhino is on its side, the lower part of the lung is getting lots of blood for gas exchange, but due to gravity, the top side of the lung is not. When rhinos are hung upside down, it is just like they are standing up and all parts of the lung are receiving the blood they need. The researchers have also seen that rhinos that are on their side or sternum for too long get muscle damage because they are so heavy. But why are rhinos transported like this at all? Well, there are a number of reasons why rhinos are translocated. Rhinos have been eliminated in some areas due to poaching or through land use, and they are being reintroduced back into some of these areas, presumably because the area is now deemed safe. Some are being translocated to restock suitable habitats. They are unable to get to these areas under their own steam, as natural dispersal between areas is no longer possible, as there are insufficient natural corridors between the areas. Sometimes they have to be moved out of an area, if that area is reaching its ecological carrying capacity, so that they don't run out of food. New populations are sometimes set up in areas that are suitable for rhinos, and these need rhinos to be moved from other populations into them. It is very sad that rhinos suffer so much at the hands of us humans, and it warrants a video of its own. But, as always, there are also humans doing their very best to help them survive, even if it does mean hanging them upside down.